Hello world, it's Siraj, and in this video, I want to show you how to stake your own coins on the Essentia platform. If you don't know, Essentia is a decentralized exchange, all-in-one cryptocurrency platform. So what it does is it allows you to exchange different currencies peer-to-peer -peer without having to pay some central server a fee to do so. And it's really easy to stake your own coins on the Essentia network. And guess what? You get paid to do so. And I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. And most importantly, I'm going to show you what proof of stake even means by us coding a proof of stake algorithm in 100 lines of Python code. It's going to be amazing. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride, all right? So this is the Essential Wallet. We can download it from their website. Very easy stuff. I'll create a new account. And in just a second, I can create an account name. I can put in a password. And once I create, you know, the account name, password, I'll click on create and bada bing, bada boom, there's my wallet. Very simple stuff, right? Um, once I have that wallet, I can just start adding wallets or importing my own. And you can see here, there's this button called staking. And this staking button allows us to stake our own minimum amount of essential coins. And think of it like a savings account at a bank, right? The more you put in, the more interest you get back. And Basically, this is a way for us to tell the network that, hey, we have this amount, we are staking our coins, and, and that allows us to get paid in return because we're doing something for the network. So the network will allow us to uh, earn money, passive income, and there's a minimum amount of 10K Essentia coins to do so, and we can do that very easily with the stake button. So what I'd like to do, first of all, is show you a very simple demo of a blockchain that is on the web by Anders Brownworth. It's on this website right here. And basically what it does is it creates a block. And a block is essentially just a data structure. And this data structure we can construct with different parameters, namely the block number, the nonce, the number only used once, some data like blah, 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 and a hash. We can click on mine. Mine is a very separate algorithm. We're not going to go into how that works or what that is. But basically, it's going to create some randomly generated hash based on whatever data that I enter into it. So, you know, whatever new data type it is, it's going to mine it. Boom, it's got a new hash. And when we take these blocks and we point them to each other, we create what's called a blockchain. And, you know, if we change one of the nonces, every single other block, previous block in the chain will be broken. And we have to mine that block. That means we have to solve some randomly generated mathematical equation. And then boom, all the blocks are valid again. In a blockchain, the longest chain of blocks is the most valid. That means the person who has the longest change, chain of blocks uh, is, the, is the correct chain, chain the source of truth. And so blockchains have to be valid. You can't just willy-nilly modify some block and expect the entire network to accept it. And proof of work is the way that Bitcoin does this. It uses computing power of the miners in the network to try and solve what some randomly generated mathematical problems and then find that longest change chain. But there's a different way to do this. There's a different consensus algorithm that different nodes can use, and it's called proof of stake. And the way proof of stake works is that instead of giving computing power, putting computing power on the altar of the blockchain and offering it to the network, like here is my computing power, I am valid. Instead of doing that, we say, here's our money. Here's the amount of stake we have in the network. Here are our coins. And the more stake you put in the network, the more of a validity your vote gets. Now, better than me explaining this to you just verbally, let me show you some code. All right, so let's get right into the code here. And basically what I did was I found some example on GitHub that was 300 lines of Python code, and I condensed it very much into 100 lines of code so it could fit into this video. What we're going to do is we're going to construct a blockchain in Python that uses the proof of stake algorithm to explain how Essentia uses proof of stake. Here we go. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to import our libraries because we need our dates and our time, right? All of the blocks in our chain will show a date and time. We'll import the time library so that we'll be able to generate the time. We'll import a hashing library called SHA-256. That's how we generate that 25 character key based on whatever data we have. We're going to import JSON so that for formatting our data, requests 
for connecting to the internet. And then finally, we'll import random for using for generating random numbers. Now let's get right into this. The first parameter of our blockchain that we want to code is the date and the time. That's the first thing. The next thing we want to code is the genesis block. That's going to be the first block in the chain. That is what we call it. What did Satoshi embed into the genesis block of Bitcoin, the most badass um, title ever? It was the Chancellor injects $2.3 trillion into the bank's financial system. It was so cool. Um, so what are we going to put into this Genesis block? Well, let's put some random parameters. We'll have the index of the block. Of course, it's going to be zero because it's the first block in the chain. We're going to import the date, the timestamp. That's why we just uh, defined that date. We're going to import what else do we want? Let's say you know, because this is, we're basically recreating the Essentia blockchain as an example, we'll say, you know, this is the Essentia data, you know, whatever it is, we'll just say it's zero right now. And lastly, we'll have a pointer to the previous hash because it's a chain of blocks, each pointing to each other. And lastly, a validator. Now the validator is going to be the address of whoever is validating these uh, coins, right? So that's going to be different. Whoever's staking the coins, you know, we could also call it miners in a proof of work based blockchain. So we have our validators here. And now that's our Genesis block. So let's get right into this. We're going to create this blockchain class. And this blockchain class is going to be uh, the first step for us is to initialize this blockchain. And we're going to say we're going to say we're going to initialize the blockchain. And we are going to say init. And it's going to take the Genesis block as a parameter. As that we just wrote, it's going to take the account address as a parameter, and then we'll just start making this blockchain. It's going to be an empty array, an empty list. We're going to have a bunch of temporary blocks. Why do we have temporary blocks, Siraj? Let me answer that for you in a second. We're going to have my current block. Where are we in the chain? And we're going to have our validators. These are everybody in the network that is staking their coins. We're going to have the set of nodes, the total number of nodes in the network. We're going to have my account. That's going to be whoever we are. Okay. And that's that. All right. So those are our initial uh, parameters. And now we're going to say, take that Genesis block and generate it um, so, right there. Okay. So those are our first parameters that we initialize. Let's keep going here. That's step one. Now, step two is to define our proof of stake function. What does our proof of stake function look like? Well, we're going to call it POS for proof of stake. And let's get right into it. What we're going to do is we're going to get other nodes stakes, how much they claimed. We're going to add our own claim and then we're going to pick a winner. And now how do we pick a winner? Let me show you how we pick a winner. First thing we do is we say, okay, so for all the nodes in our chain of nodes, so for all the blocks, perform this proof of stake function. So it's recursive. Go ahead and perform proof of stake. And for each block in our set of temporary blocks, for each block in our temporary set of blocks, define a validator. And the block will have that validator parameter that we earlier defined. And we'll split it by a comma. So we're going to have, a, we're going to have multiple validators. And if the validator if the validator is the winner, now you might be asking, how do we pick a winner? That's going to be the last function. If it is the winner, what do we do? If it's got the most stake in the network, it gets to mine a new block. Just like a miner, if they have the most computing power, they get to mine a new block. But if they're not the winner, we'll pass. We'll just keep on going, right? So that's basically it. Once, we, once this winner gets to mine a new block, we'll add that new block to the chain, and then that node will get. And then for every node in our blockchain, we will then add that new block to the chain. New block. Simple. Okay, now here comes the very important part. How do we pick that winner? And this, this, my friends, is the meat of the code. Picking the winner. So this is our last step here. Pick winner. Okay. So how do we pick a winner? Very simple. It's very, very simple. We have a lottery. And in this lottery, let me write out step three. Step three, define winning by winning, as Charlie Sheen would say. Let's go, let's go all the way down here. 
okay. We're still under 100 lines of code. Obviously, there are helper functions here that I'm not writing. Basically, what we do is we create a lottery pool of validators. So basically, let's say up to 100 different validators in the network, and everyone gets to stake their own coins, right? And the more coins you stake, let's say the ratio is one to one. So for every coin you stake, you get another vote. So you get another place in that um, lottery pool. So let's say you put five coins in, well, you get five um, votes in the lottery pool. All right. And let's say there are like 15 people. Everybody puts one coin except for you. They only get one vote, but you get five votes. So and then a number, you, someone is randomly picked from that lottery pool. Now, who's going to be more likely to get picked? The person who put one coin or the person who put five coins? The person who put five coins, right? So that's how it works. Very simple. We're going to create a lottery pool, and it happens every X intervals. Whoever puts more stake gets more of a vote. Whoever gets more of a vote gets more likely to mine the block. Whoever is more likely to mine the block gets rewarded with a new block. So they get money. So the more money you put in, the more money you get out of it. That's how proof of stake works. That's how different blockchains work. That's how Ethereum will someday work. And that is how Essentia currently works. So let's write this out, this lottery function. So we're going to define this winner, right? But the winner to start off is not going to have anything. It's just going to be an empty winner. we got to decide who that winner is. And we have our temporary blocks, and we're going to append to that set of temporary blocks with our current block. And we're going to have a set of validators. And those validators will get our current block. And then... We, we go right in on this. Let's go right in on this. For every validator that we have in our set of validators, we are going to check for a few things. What's the account? It's going to be that validator dot split by the comma. And for that account, if the winner, if it's a winner, winner equals the account if the winner is less than the account number, else winner. So basically, if we are picked randomly then and we have the most coins, uh, we are the winner. Else, winner equals account if account is at that index, else winner. Thank Essentia for making this incredible platform. So thank you, Essentia. Go check them out. Links to everything in the video description. Stake your coins. I love you guys. And until next time, happy learning.